Hey, good morning. Chuck here at the Apple Drains. I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina this morning, uh, taking a look at some projects. Kind of interesting neighborhood. This is called Dilworth, and it's a very historical neighborhood. And the people here, it's very desirable. So they buy these smaller homes, and they tear them down to make this. And I'll show you some more of the neighborhood here in just a second. But what an investment. Um, these homes sell for you know 1.5 million once they've you know, bought the lot and rebuilt the home it's really an amazing place there are so few smaller homes left in Dilworth here's an example take a look at the size of this house this used to be just a tiny 600 maybe 500 square foot home and take a look so they buy these houses and everything is on a crawl space the foundation is crawl space so they build all these things, but they don't put any drainage in. So when we come out to a call in Charlotte, you can expect that we're going to do everything. We're going to waterproof that crawl space, and we're also going to put in the downspout drains, the yard drains, the French drains, everything. You know, when I watch other channels' videos, and they're showing you a small little problem, guys, take a look. I want to give you an example of an install here in Charlotte. We not only solved the crawl space issue, but we also solved the downspout drains, the yard drains, the French drains. We do all of this in one job. Hey, good morning. Chuck here at the Apple Drains. You know, yesterday we started a pretty large yard drain that comes from around the back. You can see we've got a lot of the trenching done here. Um, line is going to actually, the line will actually end here at the sidewalk with a pop-up got a lot of tree roots in here and from this little section here they're gonna to have to chop that with the axe and then there's another section you can see all these roots down here that the trencher just can't cut these this size roots there's just too many um, basically the line begins clear back here in the back you can see we've got our material out here but we've got our trench pretty much installed we worked in the crawl space yesterday as well, and that worked really good. There's where the discharge comes out. That's all gonna come over here and tie into the sump pit. We're gonna put an M98, a half horsepower pump here, and basically it's going to be pushing that water all the way out to the street. We're also connecting up there, if you can see those river rock, the little stones up there there's a valley right there so we're going to set a catch basin in there and bring that line down and tie it into our sump pit as well so quite a deep excavation as we come through here down's about to hook up and what i'm doing right now is i'm going to go ahead and start laying some pipe beginning over here at an existing catch basin we're gonna hook that line up. The line will begin here, and it's gonna run all the way around to the sump pit. And again, rather deep, because you can see the hill that we had to dig through. This project is a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. Granted, there is a lot to do here, but if you wanna save some money, definitely this can be done by yourself. We've added a couple more catch basins here in the yard, this one is a, a round six by six. The other one that you just saw was a nine by nine. And only because the hill is so severe, so much water comes down the hill that we need to be able to collect that water, get it into our system, and then it goes over to the sump pump where the sump pump lifts it up, pushes it uphill and all the way out to the street. What I'm doing right now is just going ahead and securing with screws the fittings because this is quite deep and I don't want this to move as we're backfilling. Um, it's something that does happen. Sometimes your pipe comes apart and you have to dig it back up. So why not take a few moments and secure things before you backfill? So we've got the line installed from the very beginning, the low spot in the yard, coming around up through the hill. Now we're hooking up two downspouts, 
one here on the corner and one that you can see where it comes from under the deck. Basically what I'm doing is I'm making an insert. I'm going to cut this little piece of pipe in half. We're going to squish it together and we're going to slide this into an existing drain. This creates a really nice tight insert. It pops in there really tight. Go ahead and slide your next piece of pipe on and we're going to secure that with screws just to help hold it in place. Remember, this system is not designed to be watertight. Perforated pipe, or excuse me, corrugated pipe, every fitting, it, it does leak water. It's not going to hurt anything. Now I'm hooking up the downspout. You can see the Y down there to bring the two pieces together. The same thing. We'll snap all this together. We're going to screw that together with, with screws just to hold it in place. We got place for it. We got places for it. Next we're going to go ahead and hook this, these two downspouts to our main trench. You can see how deep that trench is. And again, real simple, I like to use pieces I have, saw, whatever, for a measurement. You don't have to make a ruler, but you can. You can use a ruler if you want to. Corrugated pipe snaps together in each of the fittings. Going from a T to a Y makes no difference. It'll snap together. And again, you could put tape around it, or you could put screws in it, or you could do nothing. Bringing the pipe on, hooking more connections, running our main trench, slide it in, put a screw in it. Again, you know, this job is something the homeowner can do themselves. It is not that difficult. It does take a little bit of knowledge to understand that water does run downhill. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but you know, water does run downhill and you have to make it make your trench go the, the proper depth to get things working. So we're getting ready to set up the sump pit. You can see Chuck going ahead and perforating that pit. Meanwhile, I'm hooking up more catch basins. In this catch basin, I actually had to drill a hole in the side of it. So again, slice your pipe, squeeze it together, slide it into your four inch hole, pull it, and it'll just pop really tight. Set your basin, and you're done. To see how deep. Now we're bringing all the lines into the, to the pit. We've already dug the hole, and you can see this water just pouring down in there because we were testing our system, so we you know, kind of filled up the sump pit the hole with water. You see the perforation works really good. This line comes from the backyard where we have all the catch basins and it also picks up the swale in the upper portion of the hill. A great deal of water is going to come down that line. Next I'm going to hook up a downspout right there to my left and also a sump pump. So this line is picking up that particular section. So far we have two lines in there. Now from a few more yard drains we're going to go ahead and drill another four inch hole into our sump basin. This is a four inch hole saw. Drill into the basin, cut out your hole. And now we can connect our final gravity drain into the sump basin. Slice your pipe at the end, squeeze it together, and slide it through your hole. We're keeping weight on the pit because we don't want that pit to move up. Finally, because this is a backyard sump pump, we are going to drill one more hole, and this is actually going to be for the inch and a half PVC from the pump. That's going to push it all the way out to the street. Slide your pipe inside. We'll hook up that pump tomorrow. Go ahead and glue your fittings together. Notice I'm in the same trench as the gravity drain. It's kind of a tight fit, but as long as your inch and a half pipe is underground, you're going to be fine. So now let's go ahead and run our inch and a half PVC all the way out to the street. Always glue up your fittings. These are just 
inch and a half couplings, good amount of glue, slide them together. Really great project for the homeowner. This is something that, you know, if you like to do this type of stuff, you're going to have fun doing it. This took us uh, about six hours to do. Um, it doesn't take that long to do. I mean, this is something that if you have the right equipment, you know, the trencher really makes a big difference. Running our inch and a half PVC, laying it on down into the trench. We've got to come across the cat spacing, so we're going to need to widen that up just a little bit so it'll fit right there on the side. So we've done that. Basically, we're going to backfill a few things here just to hold it in place because things tend to move around when you backfill. So we want to pack some dirt around this catch basin so it doesn't move. These are 9 by 9 catch basins. A lot of people get confused about catch basins. They think that the bigger the basin, the better it works. But remember that it's, it's the discharge of the size of the pipe that makes the difference. So you could have a giant catch basin, an 18 by 18, with a 4 inch pipe it'll flow just as fast as a four is a nine by nine with a four inch pipe hit, hit so a little bit of, of information there about catch basins we like to turn our shovel upside down and pack that tight we're going to continue on out to the street so it's getting late afternoon here but we've got all the pipe installed this is our discharge we're going to have a pop-up here notice that we used three inch um, thin wall PVC and because it's got so many roots in there we decided to go ahead and run a better pipe this is also gravity discharge at this point you'll notice up here the pipe is inch and a inch and a half pipe and this is actually coming from the sump pump this is a backyard pump and the pumps collecting the pits collecting all the water and the pumps lifting it up from this catch basin, this thing, this catch basin actually drains back to the sump pit. But we use the same trench to run our inch and a half pipe, of course, save a little bit of labor. But this is under pressure. The PVC line, it runs all the way out. When it changes to the three inch out front, then we have gravity. So everything's installed. Basically, well, one more section to install. Um, from the sump pump for the crawl space. Catch basins picking up low spots around the yard. Sump pit. Right now we got some bricks on there holding it all down. But again, you can see we've got a pressurized line that comes from the sump pump, comes out, and this is gravity from the first catch basin I showed you. Gravity bringing this water into the sump pit. So where these guys are raking and taking the dirt, we've got a spot for that up here. You can see the swale that these guys have up here. And what they want to do is eventually fill it. So basically we've set a catch basin in place and we're just going to cover up that pipe with dirt. We did trench through the hill here, which all goes down to the sump pump to that pit down there by the air conditioner. <clears throat> so. Over here is the beginning of the line. You can see we've got that garden hose running. It's been running for about 20 minutes or so. It takes a long time for that water to flow through the corrugated pipe. Another catch basin in the yard. This line's pretty deep. Another small catch basin is coming up through this hill. In other words, we had to go down quite deep in order to get that to work. It picks up a downspout here, another downspout off of the porch is underneath of the deck it all comes over tees into the line runs right down through here it's also going to pick up the swale that i just to told you about and that tees in all of that comes down in here to the sump pump sump pit so this was from the garden hose you can see we've got a really good flow there's no pump in here yet we're going to hook that up here that's the last thing we're going to do and we'll probably do that tomorrow morning um, that we're going to put an M98, but you can see that we've got three lines. This is from the yard that we just showed you the very lowest point. That was their original problem. This comes from the downspout. It's also going to pick up the sump pump that we installed in the crawl space. 
And then of course this is picking up this catch basin and the next catch basin in the back. <laughs> so tomorrow we'll install the sump pump. Remember not to tighten it, just leave it just like that. That's it. And tomorrow we'll put the sump pump in here. And just to kind of review again, the inch and a half PVC is pressurized line. That's coming from the pump and it's sending it all the way out to the street. The corrugated pipe is a gravity drain. This area is really low right here. Water's been flooding, so we added a catch basin here. And because we're trenching all the way out to the street, there was another low spot up here. So we put another catch basin up here. And you can use the same trench. You know, I mean, you can run two, three pipes in the same trench, depending on the size of the trench. So from that catch basin, that's the beginning of the line on this side, and it runs, you know, all the way back to the sump pit. Inch and a half PVC, still pressurized from the pump, so it can run uphill, downhill, around the hill. <laughs> it's, remember, the pump's gonna push it. So it runs all the way down through here. And you can see, luckily, it doesn't have to be very deep here in, in Charlotte, it's not gonna freeze. A lot of tree roots, a lot of tree roots. Inch and a half PVC up here by the sprinkler valve, by the irrigation valve, we actually have good gravity fall. So we ran three inch PVC to help you know relieve some of the pressure of the pump. Pretty much this install is complete. We'll put a pop-up right here, a 90 degree turn with a little grate. We'll screw that down and all that water will come up and of course just flood out and across and over to the to the curb. So we've got the sump pump from the crawl space, comes out, you know, we cord that wall, ties into the downspout, goes into the sump pit. And as I said, the inch and a half PVC is a pressure line and the four inch corrugate is actually going back the other direction. It's all covered up. Um, everything's ready to go here. Tomorrow we'll come out and we'll put the pump in here and this job is complete. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.